Hello guys, today is another quick tutorial. It's gonna be the start zone to complete the night cycle of our day and night cycle. As you know, I didn't use any skybox and I thought of using Niagara for this particular task. So as you saw from the preview, in the beginning of the video, it looks pretty realistic and actually the workflow how to achieve this result is very simple. So let's get started. The first step is to create the Niagara emitter. We can make it like blank one, but I found the one more useful, we only need to clean up it a little bit and make our adjustments. So press right mouse button, select FX, then go with Niagara Emitter. All you need is to go with new emitter from a template and select Hanging Particles. Once it's done, you need to press right mouse button on your particle, on the emitter, and select Create Niagara System. So, if you talk about Niagara System, our particle will be simulated on the GPU side. Also make sure to select fixed bounds and go with these values. You can play around to see whether it will clip or not, but these bounds for such lightweight particle system actually won't harm performance much. Then at the spawn rate I gone with the value of 400. You can actually make it user attribute and then you can change it through the blueprint. But for my purpose, I only made custom attributes for the speed of my stardom. Next, initialized particle. We need to have the values in lifetime mode set to be random. I gone with default from the template from 5 to 8 seconds. Then color here is something bluish. For the sprite size I also gone with two different values and to simulate some sort of parallax effect we need to have some particles smaller and some bigger. Also play around with the values but 100 and 225 is I guess very I guess they're the best that I found myself most suitable for the star zone because we will simulate it on the hemisphere and the size of hemisphere will be like 150,000 units so it actually covers the space that the default skybox covers. Next Sphere location, sphere radius set to 75,000 and because it's a radius, the whole diameter, the whole area that it covers is 150,000 units. Also I set the offset on the local space in my particle on z axis to 6,000 so our star zone starts not far from not from the horizon, but a little bit higher. 
and sphere coordinate space is set to be world. Next, select hemisphere Z, then surface on the band and go with the value from 0 to 1. See what suits you better. This means that our stars will be emitting from the top of our hemisphere with some width from it to simulate, as I said earlier, some sort of parallax or uh, space volume effect. Next. The default values from the emitter template for the scale sprite size and scale color are suitable. Now we need to add the vortex velocity. And here comes the tricky part I made. It's vortex axis and as you can see I have user attribute called stardom rotation. All you need is to select user exposed, press on cross, Go with vector Yep, simple vector Name it with your custom name By default here you will see some sort of the vortex axis To change it you need to select the drop down menu and go with the custom name you added for your custom attribute Now with this string name, you can change the values from the blueprint. As for sprite renderer, I made default material. It looks like this. Where we use particle color. You can make any kind of material you want. It's actually the base I found myself to go along with and I think I won't change it like at all. Then emissive to make stars more brighter and alpha channel from particle color with the radial gradient exponential to make it radial. Make sure that blend mode set to translucent, shading model is unlit. Also I recommend to deselect apply fogging and select responsible AA responsive AA to make our stars more sharper. And as you can see, my shader is not so heavy. So quick review of what I have here also if you have some trouble I'll add this system in the link below the video so you can use it now we need to create the float curve and the values are from 0 to 24 it's our bounds for our daytime and values the, the value the value of 1 is for showing up our stardom and everything that is with the zero one is for showing off for switching off our stardom next we need to open our weather system and make some changes we need to duplicate one of the Niagara Particle System component I have one here It uses Niagara System stars 
also by default it's set to be not auto activated then for curves I've added stars curve here and it's curve float with the default curve asset we created earlier this one also I've added another category it's called stars and here you can see I have the vector which is called stardom rotation speed by default it has the values minus 10 on both axes we don't need to change that axis to simulate the proper real life behavior of the star dome moving and now we need to open the function update weather and have this condition we check whether on our stars curve the we take current time and check whether value on this curve is near the one if it's so it means that we need to activate our stars component and if it's false we need to deactivate it then from stars component we need to pull a wire and search for the block called set niagara variable and we use vector 3 here in variable name I use the string that I used here for my custom attribute and this logic operation is to is for the next option our speed of the star dome moving should de be dependent of the day lens speed so if our day lens is two minutes our star dome speed should be higher and if our day lens is for instance two hours our star dome speed should be lower you need to add this logic right after the end logic of your update weather function I have it here well that's it now you need to select your weather system make some changes in the time check whether curve is set check conditions and just play well one more moment the reason for using the high values for the sphere radius is so that our particles won't overlap with the meshes inside our scene and one more thing I actually forgot to mention this particular change we need to attach the stars Niagara component to our player so it will always be with us the location rotation scale rules are the same as for our previous systems for rain and snow components so please do the same for this one and now that's all see you soon